All right. This is the sensor we're going to use for today's demo. We're going to use this single sensor on all three vehicles. Uh, the three vehicles we have here today would be a 2009 Ford Fusion, 2010 Chevy Silverado, and 2006 Chrysler Pacifica. Now, just so that everyone knows we're using the same sensor here, um, we'll end up putting someone's initials on this. Would you be so kind to write your initials on this sensor? There you go. So we have someone's initials then on the sensor. Uh, we're going to start off with this sensor then on the 2009 Ford Fusion. And uh, this vehicle right now has four OE sensors. The OE sensors are Lear banded sensors. Um, we're going to end up replacing this front left sensor with this sensor. But first, we're going to do a walk around and make sure everything's working the way it is, uh, the way it's supposed to from the factory with the OE products. And I would like to uh, ask somebody in the audience to pick up a tool so that we'll play with this tool on this vehicle or later on we can have another tool to uh, make sure that the ready sensor works. So, gentlemen? The Bartek 400. So this one. Okay. Jean-Christophe's going to put the vehicle into the relearn mode. On a Ford, it's a uh, sequence of key on, key off, press the part, brake, and then key on, key off. Symbolized by a horn honk. And now he will go around and uh, just make sure the vehicle's learned with these OE sensors. Horn honk symbolizes that tire's been learned. Now he'll move to the next. onto the rear of the car and you can also see, most technicians don't see, but the dashboard actually tells you which tire to learn. And when the relearn procedure is completed, it tells you on the dash. Matt, our technician, will remove this tire, then we're going to go over dismount. We'll just do a partial dismount just to get the uh, banded sensor off. We'll remove that sensor and put the ready sensor in. torquing the nut to uh, 71 inch pounds. So um, now since we are going to do a relearn again, I'd like to ask the audience uh, to choose a tool from this table. The green guy? OK. We'll get the green guy. Jean-Christophe will put it back into uh, relearn mode again. As you know, on a Ford, if you don't know, the cycle is three cycles on, leave it on, press the brake, and then three more cycles. And when you end in the on position, it goes into relearn mode. Now, this sensor, unlike the other sensors on the OE, the banded sensors are 180 degrees from the valve stem. This is a ready sensor, so it's at the valve stem. Instantly learned and recognized that sensor on the car. You confirm that with a horn honk. Now we're on the OE sensor. Notice how fast the ready sensor learned the, uh, or recognized the signal. It was very quick. OE sensors are a little slower. Jacques Christophe, before this times out, do you want to try another tool, or are we going to let it time out? I don't know. It's up to the audience. I mean, what I would like the audience to realize is that the uh, ready sensor just answers straight away versus the uh, no-e sensor having a hard time with this specific tool. So let's try it with uh, another tool. Okay. And as you can see, the tire training is complete. You want to go ahead and uh, raise this car, and we'll take that ready sensor back off. Whenever or whatever the tool you use, and we have a very large variety of tools right here on the table. The ready sensor will always work with whatever tool you have. So which means that if in the shop you have an OTC tool, it won't work with the ready sensor. Or if you have a wheelwright, Bartek 400, will work with ready sensor.
I'm going to follow Matt over here. He's going to dismount this just to get the sensor out so that we can move on to the Silverado. Here's the ready sensor. And we will uh, change the component kit when we go to mount it on the Silverado. All right, so we have this same sensor back then with the initials. You'll notice that we're not going to do any programming on this sensor. We're just going to take this uh, right the way it is, and we're going to put it on the Silverado. Uh, we're going to end up installing it on this tire and wheel. Uh, but first, we're going to do a walk around, make sure that everything with the OE system is working the way it should with all the OE sensors. Uh, I think most of you are aware, but the 2010 Silverado comes with OE Schrader snap-in sensors. Do I do the relearn on this and make sure everything's yeah, good? Uh, Go on the GM, the relearn procedure on this one is just the key on. Press and hold the door unlock and lock actuator on the key fob, and two horn so sounds indicates uh, relearn mode. Jean Christophe gets the tool ready, and then, uh, as you notice, the lights on a GM. Well, all the lights are on, but the lights will uh, indicate the location at which you need to program. And two horn honks, horn honks indicate a successful relearn. Matt will dismount this tire and we'll install the ready sensor on this vehicle. Follow us around. This, uh, since it's a Schrader snap-in and we need to remove it, we will have to do a full dismount on this wheel so that we can get the Schrader sensor out of there. Sean, let's hold up the uh, sensor again so everyone can see. It's the same sensor we had before. As always, we, uh, so you change the component kit when you reinstall a sensor, so I'm removing the seal. And Matt will install a new seal and nut when we put it in the uh, wheel for the Silverado. Matt's putting the seal on right now. Mount that in the wheel. Torque the nut to 71 inch-pounds. And we'll remount the tire. And as Sean was saying earlier, we end up doing a full service kit change when we're uh, transferring the sensor from one vehicle to the next. The full service kit includes the seal washer, as well as the hex nut, the cap, and the valve core. Sean, what's the inflation for this one? This one's 35 PSI. VT55, OK. VT55. So as you can see, I have the VT55. Again, the learn mode on this is key on. Press and hold the unlock lock buttons on the key fob, and it will go into relearn mode. John Christophe will walk around and do the relearn, telling us that the left front is the first tire. Successful relearn on the left front. And this has the three OE sensors on it, and the ready sensor is back here. Notice Fully the time relearned. it took for each one on the OE, but then the ready sensor, as soon as he put it down there and pressed the button, it relearned. We'll dismount this, remove the ready sensor, and move on to the Chrysler Pacifica. Again, here's the uh, ready sensor. Same one we used in the first vehicle, second vehicle, now we're going to the third. 2006 Chrysler Pacifica. I still have the original sensor that we started with. Now on this vehicle, uh, from the factory, it came with Siemens VDO sensors, they're clamp-in style sensors. We've already switched out uh, the sensors, so actually the three wheels and tires in the back there, they already have ready sensor installed. And then in the front, we have just a plain valve stem. There's no sensor behind that. And the reason we did this was to simulate uh, if you had a, a battery that died or if the sensor were to break, so what we have on the dash is a malfunction indicator then because there's a missing sensor. Now we're going to use this sensor to fix that. 
Now with Chrysler vehicles, as you're aware, you have to drive the vehicle. So we will be pulling this out shortly uh, after we install this sensor. We will be taking a uh, short drive and I'll ask for two volunteers to ride with. Uh, there'll be a cameraman in there and two volunteers to witness the successful relearn since that's the way you do it with a Chrysler. Go ahead. Now we'll install it on the third vehicle and go for a relearn. All right, we'll get uh, Matt to reinstall this and then I need two people who's coming with. All right, you can see that it uh, has one tire low and service tire soon. And on a Chrysler, you have to drive 25 kilometers. I think it's 15 miles an hour for, I think it's about 15, 10, 15 minutes. So we're gonna get on the interstate where we can do this. Okay. We just had a successful relearn. I was gonna say, so, we've just lost our malfunction. Yep. Uh, so we relearned and I missed this. Uh, I wasn't, I didn't think it would happen that quick. Had a successful relearn, uh, got on the interstate, drove about a mile and a half. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, Sean said, you know, I want you to talk about what we saw. I, I wish, I wish that we saw more because it was so fast. Uh, we just basically got on there. We're talking about how it would take maybe six or seven minutes to do a relearn, maybe as much as 15. And while we're talking, the malfunction light goes out and we're just seeing which way we're traveling. It was like five minutes, not yeah. even five minutes. Yeah. And it was done, very so. uneventful. Very quick, thank you. And uh, please, uh, I didn't pay him. I don't know him, I didn't pay him. Thank you for watching our video Ready Sensor program. We hope you enjoyed it. You can learn more information at readysensor.com.